Residents of an Eastside apartment complex flee their neighborhood in terror today as a gunfight between police and unknown assailants spirals out of control. Stay with Sky 5. So, what is going on guys? It is Crisis the Imago here, coming at you live and in person. And in this video guys, we're going to be talking about the possible return of quote-unquote Broken Field with Battlefield Hardline. Now, if you guys do go on and enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you'd like to stay up to date on all the Battlefield Hardline content. Now, Battlefield Hardline just released on Tuesday due to some things that happened. I was just able to start playing about a day ago. And... I had heard that there was a lot of problems with Team Deathmatch. Now, Team Deathmatch was my favorite mode in Battlefield 4, and I was like, oh great, here we go. Broken Fields back, yada yada yada. So I hopped in and I started to play a lot of Team Deathmatch, and right away there were so many issues. First and foremost, we're going to talk about the spawning, and this is god awful. Without a doubt, some of the worst spawns ever in the history of first person shooters and pretty much games in general. The spawn system on Team Deathmatch is god off. You're going to see in this video, um, playing some TDM, TDM here on the block, and you're going to see a couple points where I spawn behind as many as four or five enemies, and I am able to just take them all out at one point later on here in the video. I'm going to spawn behind, I believe, four guys, kill all of them. One guy's going to get revived, I'm going to get two more kills, and I'm just going to go on an absolute rampage. Now... Like I said, this was a problem. Visceral knows about this. Everybody has been tweeting at them saying, you know, hey, this is just absolutely god-awful. They are currently working on a patch for it, hopefully. But what I'm wondering is, how did this how did this happen? Why wasn't Team Deathmatch put into the beta? Why didn't we get a chance to figure this out? And why didn't Visceral have a chance to fine-tune this before the game was released? Visceral has pushed this game back. And it was to create, you know, to solve some problems and things like that. They released a second beta. They wanted us to play it and all that jazz. But there's still this major issue of the spawns. And it, it is it's horrible. Um, I was playing on Hollywood Heights. And three separate occasions I had spawned in with enemies directly to my left and enemies directly to my right. At the same time, I was sandwiched. And I was a lower level. I had just started playing the game. I was thinking about a 4 or 5. So I didn't even have a chance to put a suppressor on my weapon and be tactical. And, you know, oh, maybe if I can flank around and take out these guys and move on. But no, there was absolutely no chance of survival. And it was really frustrating. Now, had I not been a fan of Battlefield for so long, I probably would have just taken the disc out, driven straight back to GameStop, and turned the game back in. And this is going to be a turnoff for a lot of players. But I have faith that the Battlefield franchise is one of the top first person shooters out there and personally I already like Battlefield Hardline better than I liked Advanced Warfare it's to me it's not up there with Battlefield 4 yet but hopefully it can get there at some point and I've also and a lot of people uh, will back me up on this have delayed buying premium for Battlefield Hardline because they just don't know if it's going to be that good of a game. Why would you turn around and waste an extra $50 on something that you're not going to be playing? So, I'm going to give Visceral about a month to get this fixed um, for my own personal you know, preferences and things like that. And hopefully they can get it done. Now, as far as the rest of the <laughs> problems in Team Deathmatch, there aren't really a whole lot other than the fact that everybody and their mother is running the M16A3 or the M416. These guns, they said that they nerfed them, they switched them, the M416 over to the criminal side to kind of make it a little bit more balanced, but my god, the M1683 is still a monster. It's just absolutely, it's an infantry shredder, that's all it is. You throw extended bang on that with a suppressor, you can easily rock, rock uh, you know, a 4.5 or a 5.0 KD. I was watching this guy last night as I was playing, he was actually on my team, he's in the M16, he didn't die more than six times in the entire in the entire night, and he was just absolutely slaughtering people with his M16, and it's still way too overpowered. I said about this in the beta, it was overpowered then, it's still overpowered now. Visceral was like, oh, we're going to up the recoil and the reload times. No, it needs a damage reduction. 28 damage maximum is absolutely ridiculous for an assault rifle. Either make the rest of the guns... Uh, equal competitor or drop the the max damage from 28 to 24 because it's just it's too much it is literally too much why give 
players a one god gun when you have all these other guns? What's the point of even putting other guns in the game? Because everybody's just going to use the god gun. So that definitely needs fixed. And it's definitely a problem in modes like Team Deathmatch because that's where it's being used. So other than that, other than those things that I just cried and griped about for about five minutes, I have to say that this game is a lot of fun. Hotwire is still absolutely awesome. I absolutely love playing Hotwire. It's such such a good game mode. It's so fast-paced, and I absolutely love it. Team Deathmatch, for all intents and purposes, is a lot of fun, but the with the problems it, with it has with the spawns and the, the unbalanced guns and things like that, it's almost becoming unbalanced. Playable. I do like the fact that they have night maps. That's really cool. Something that they integrated right off the bat. I know Battlefield 4 is doing something like that with the CTE servers, with uh, Siege of Shanghai and stuff like that. So that's really cool. I really like that. And hopefully in the future DLCs, we can get some more night maps because I like playing on night maps. It's pretty fun. Other than that, though, I have to say that Battlefield Hardline had a pretty steady release. I haven't run into too many issues with it, other than, like I said, on Team Deathmatch. But Visceral knows about this, and hopefully they can get it fixed rather quickly, because a lot of people play Team Deathmatch. It's a mode that's in every first-person shooter, and it's a mode that a lot of people are comfortable with. And if people can't play their favorite game mode... And they might not be playing their game too long. So let me know down in the comment section below how you guys feel about Battlefield Hardline. Did you get it? Are you going to get it? Let me know all that down there in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite game mode is, what your favorite gun is. And so help me God, if you all say the M16A3, it's only going to prove my point. So with that all being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like on it. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you would like to keep up to date with Battlefield Hardline news. And until next time, guys, I'm Crazy Stiamago, and I'll see you when I see you.